Well, I don't know if that was recording at all. <laughs> Whoops. But uh, I don't think I recorded the last video, but uh, right now we're doing a uh, in-depth look at the uh, MMRO pump. Taking it apart and having a gander at it. Uh, mine does have a little more machining wear than you normally see. Mainly because my engine grenaded itself and put a little bit of just almost a polish on the gear itself which maybe speaks to the strength of the MMR gear that it can kind of ingest some metal shavings and not grenade like the OEM ones apparently do so maybe that's a plus one for them I don't know um, you can see that it's their gear with their logo on it and then that's the outer gear again logo on it there's the case, uh, both uh, parts with the face sit out towards you, if anyone else is here and forgotten how they took the gears apart. Um, yeah, uh, I never took apart my old gear, so I couldn't tell you if this has been machined down more, uh, for maybe a tighter tolerance, not sure, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what it looks like inside, and that's what you're paying... Uh, you know, 400 bucks for, so, well, there you go, lots of cleaning to do, uh, because everything is full of fucking shavings in my engine, um, one of the things I didn't like that I noticed is that, uh, I only took these out, I don't think I could have fucked the threads, but they were, were pretty fucking nasty putting this thing together. So I'm going to have to run a tap in and a lock tight them in, which they actually weren't, which is kind of weird, because I always thought a little pump, you always want to uh, lock tight that. We had a friend that bought a Nismo pump for his uh, Skyline, which it wasn't cheap, and uh, they didn't tighten the fasteners, so his engine wasn't creating oil pressure, because every time it pressured up, it would just push the case out and leak out everywhere so he took it apart locked tight it like it's meant to but uh, I think part of the reason I tore the threads out is that they use uh, I don't know exactly what they're called but they're a triangular shape uh, fastener Ooh. and they they cut into the threads of the aluminum so soft top and machine screws pretty much yeah Ooh. but without a proper like cutter at the end and when you're going into a encapsulated hole it's not a great way of doing it because the thread's got nowhere to go that you're cutting out. Who manufactures it? Uh, well, it is a FOMO Co. part, mm. and then they <laughs> off that. Oh, did they really? Well, yeah, and then they put MMR and Hurricane. <laughs> so it's like an OEM pump with and with these with the gears. gear. And they said I need to run this case if it's going on an F one hundred and fifty block. Oh, so I'm yeah, all right, whatever. So yeah. That's what it looks like.